You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, if there is one athlete that can rival LeBron James on the woke meter, there's no doubt about it that it would actually be Megan Rapino. Megan Rapino is super duper woke. And you can make the case that she is even more woke than LeBron James. But I believe that LeBron James is definitely more dangerous because his popularity is so much higher than Megan Rapino because LeBron James plays in the Marxist NBA China and Megan Rapino is a soccer star. But when it comes to Megan Rapino, you know, she's out there virtue signaling, talking about we want equal pay when we find out that the women actually make more money than the men because they actually get benefits. The men don't. And Mega Rapino has done a lot of damage to our sport. Remember the uh, the Subway uh, franchisees? She's, she's actually a spokesperson for uh, Subway. The franchisees wanted her fired because she's bad for business. Because the consumers of Subway, the customers, don't like her. Don't like her whatsoever. Now, Mega Rapino is also 36 years old. And she is nearing the end. There's no doubt about it, folks. And, uh... It looks like her career may just be over. She'll have a lot of time on her hands to kneel for the national anthem and disrespect the country because she seems to be very, very good at that. I'm giving her credit where credit is due. She, her technique in kneeling for the national anthem is spotless. She's probably the goat of that. But check this out, guys. Canceled. Walt soccer player Megan Rapino left off U.S. women's team's roster. This is hilarious, guys. But let's backtrack a little bit here uh, because uh, we put up a video in December. This is from December the 10th. Mega Rapino not protected by OL Reign uh, for upcoming NWSL expansion draft. That draft was a couple of weeks later, folks. And guess what? Even the expansion team did not want her. You can see Mega Rapino not pit in 2021 NWSL expansion draft will remain with OL Reign. So her own team didn't want her. The expansion team didn't want her. And now, guys, the. Th this is funny, the USWNT, they don't want her either now, folks. It seems to be all but over now for woke Megan Rapino. You can see here the wokest of all U.S. national teams, sports teams just got a little less woke. That is hilarious right there. U.S. women's national team head coach Valco. And Donoski has called up a roster that features youth and players the team will rely on in the future. It does not, however, feature noted USWNT anthem protester Megan Rapino. She has been at. And you can see her right there, kneeling for the national anthem and disrespecting the country. It also says on uh, USWNT mainstay, Alex Morgan was also left off the roster. Rapino and the rest of the USWNT struggled through an, through an extremely disappointing 2021 Olympic performance. Yes, we covered that, folks. It was bad. It was really bad. And all of these players, except for Carly Lord, were kneeling for the national anthem. But anyway, heavily favored to win gold entering the, the tournament, the USWNT posted a mere one, one and one record after getting smashed by Sweden 3-0 in the opener, defeating a weak New Zealand squad and then barely beating the Netherlands. Uh, Rapino and her merry band of Wolsters then lost to Canada before squeaking by Australia and securing a disappointing bronze medal. Perhaps then it's no surprise that uh, coach Ananoski decided to go a different route. Quote, all these players are very good players. We know that they've done so much for this team. And Anoski told ESPN of the veteran players he decided to leave off the roster. But right now, I want to give a chance to players like Sophia Smith um, and Mel Pugh and Katrina Maracario, Ashley Hatch, players that have earned their spot on the national team or earned their spot back. I want to give them maximum minutes or whatever minutes they earn so we can evaluate every aspect of their game in the training environment or game setting. 
The coach hastened to add that that this does not mean Rapino's national team career is over. I believe it's over. It's over. Quote, it doesn't mean that these players that have done well in the past are just going to come back here in the next camp because they've done well a year, a year ago or two years ago. And Anoski said Rapino, however, will be 38 by the time the Nets Women's World Cup rolls around in 2023. It's over, folks. It is clearly over. Manga Rapino has to even know this. Rapino, a captain on the USWNT, was instrumental in the team's gold medal runs. However, for all of her dominance on the soccer field, the USWNT captain gained far more attention and fame for her herself by copying Colin Kaepernick's protests and attacking former President Trump. Yes, she has a massive, massive case of TDS. And folks, there is no cure for TDS. There is zero cure for TDS. Most notably, Rapino made headlines during the 2019 World Cup when she said she would not go to the effing White House to see then President Trump if the USWNT won gold. Well, she won't have to worry about going to the White House anymore. So there you have it, guys. It seems like the career of uh, Megan Wopino or Rapino, if you will. It seems like her career is over. She's old. Her own team didn't want her. Expansion team didn't want her. And now the USWNT does not want her. This is absolutely hilarious, guys. It is. Maybe the book has just closed on Mega Rapino after a disappointing Olympics and everything is, that has transpired with her. She is so woke, man. She lies about everything. She, she's all in the social justice. So maybe, just maybe now, she can dive full time into being a social justice victim like Colin Kaepernick. You know, I guess there's two two peas of the same pod, you know, except she's had a much longer career than uh, Colin Kaepernick. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, is it finally over for Megan Rapino? It definitely does look that way. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.